Honkai Star Rail. Do I really need to explain what Honkai Star Rail is? Personally, I thought I will not play this game a lot and will not enjoy it as much as I do now. The only complaint that I have with this game is of course, there's no skip cutscene button and the pauses between dialogues are a bit too long for my taste but the voice acting is definitely better than Genshin Impact, in my opinion at least. Honkai Star Rail is definitely a good turn-based RPG with simple yet satisfying mechanics and you should give it a try. And I can guarantee that you will have a lot of fun playing this game because it also has better quality of life than Genshin Impact. Pantelia, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have fulfilled our promise. You, Lord Ravager, must do the same. Now, quickly! Aether Gazer this is one of my favorite games in the market. I am very surprised that I enjoy this game a lot more than PGR. Thinking that this game is only a copy and paste of PGR is not the way. Skills from each character are simpler to use with just a hit of a button, not like PGR. Graphics is stunning, animation is smooth, it is really enjoyable to play. So if you are looking for another PGR-ish game, this is the game for you. And like I said, I enjoy this game more than PGR, so it should say something. And not to mention that the sound effect is better in my ears for this game than PGR. Was I... was I... helpful? What a pity. Snowbreak, this game is pretty similar to PGR or Aether Gazer cause you don't have any autoplay and you have to play this game manually but you are using a gun in this game which makes it unique and pretty new in the market. The game is visually stunning and the animation is very smooth and because of it, it is very enjoyable to play especially when you play it on your PC. Yes, they have a PC client, not a PC port so you can enjoy your anime gacha games with very very high definition and maybe 4K definition. Like a bird in a cage. Good. Close enough. A historic moment for commemoration. Reverse 1999. At the time of making this video, Reverse 1999 haven't been released yet. But they say they will release this in 2023. And the pre-registration is up so you can just pre-reg and wait for the game to be released. The story takes place in a world in which humans and arcanists, magic users, coexist, when a mysterious event known as the storm happens on the last day of the year 1999. Time suddenly reverses itself without anyone realizing it. The player, which is us, takes the role of Vertin, known as the Timekeeper, an arcanist from Pavlo Foundation. As the only one not affected by the storm, Vertin results other arcanists throughout the 20th century while trying to discover what is causing time to reverse and battle other rival arcanists including the mysterious Manus Vindicte group. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis what do you know, FF7 Crisis is in this list. Yes, I played it, it is a good game, but not that good. This game has no voice acting, and no voice acting in a very story-driven gacha RPG is just a turn-off for me. This game is visually stunning and the animation is smooth, but they only have 30 FPS, and you cannot change it in the settings. And somehow, the game is super simple and very easy. I feel like this game exists only to milk the franchise with all the gacha bullshit, put the simplest combat system so it will not be a chore to play and not make a good gacha game. But then again, I played the game, quite enjoyed it, so I cannot say much about it and complain. So if you are a big fan of FF7, you should just buy the game and play it and finish the game and not play Ever Crisis. Cause in my opinion, playing through a complete game is better 
than playing this like unfinished kind of game, if you get what I mean. I actually don't know how to pronounce the game like take up take it up I don't know bro but yeah take up with stunning visuals and gorgeous art design this game is really appealing to many players of the gacha community it was highly anticipated by everyone just take a look at the character design it's like nothing else Gameplay is basic turn-based RPG with a little bit of twists on their own. Not to mention that the soundtracks of this game is phenomenal. You should definitely check this game out and give it a try and if you don't like it, just get the fuck out as I always say. But yeah, take it up man, it's very stunning, very gorgeous. Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade Unfortunately, this game is only available in Japanese, but of course you can still play it if they release this. Yes, pre-registration is up, so if you want to pre-reg, you can, but it is still only available in Japanese. This is basically the adaptation of the original series. This is a turn-based RPG, and of course they have autoplay. Honestly, I haven't played this game, so I cannot say much about this, but surely from the gameplay and the art style, it has my interest. <laughs> Black Clover M. Surprisingly, this game is quite good. Many people play this one and they said that Garena make a good improvement on the game. Better than the Japanese or the Korean release. Which is surprising since Garena is always fucking things up like League. Okay, I only know League. So, Black Clover M is a very good adaptation from the original series with stunning visuals and pretty decent turn based RPG and a bit of a real time quest, which is pretty cool. And to my knowledge, it has a soft launch in Canada. So, if you are living in Canada, you can try this game out without any restriction. Danmachi Chronicle Released this year and it's a real-time action RPG. I tried it and the animation is nice and all but the combat is a bit clunky. It feels like it's not that responsive. I'm not saying that it's a bad game but it's just not my cup of tea. I love the combat in Aether Gazer and PGR so playing this game feels like you are moving in a mud. If you really like Danmachi series then go and play it. They are staying true to the series and you will definitely enjoy it. Seven Nights Idol Well, it's basically an idol game and there's nothing much to say about this game. It's in the Seven Nights franchise, so I guess that's pretty good. It is pretty polished and every animation and effects, they're all pretty good. Idol gacha game isn't my favorite game. But I feel like that this idol game is the more polished one. So go and give this game a try. Maybe, I don't know. If you like an idol game, then go and give this game a go. Yeah, idol games. Eversoul, a very good and unique gacha game. If you like King's Raid back in the day, this game is for you. With real-time combat and gorgeous animation, go give this game a try. Character design and art style is amazing too, so just go and play it, please. This is very unique and really good. My only complaint about this game is that the constant connecting when you click on your inventory and you want to move here, move there, you want to click on your bag, you want to click on your character roster, you want to click on your party members, there's like constant connecting and I just don't like it. But then again, this game is quite good and they are still updating it every time. 
and making the game better. Limbus Company This game's gameplay is very unique. It's a mix of turn-based RPG and real-time brawl. And it is on Steam, so that's pretty much it. And the animation, uh, art style, character design, it has a darker tone to it. So I think if you like something a bit dark, then I think this game is for you. And if you also like a very story-driven gacha RPG, this is for you. The highlight of this game is the story. Everyone is always complimenting on the story of Limbus Company. They say it's really good and you should definitely see it for yourself. Enjoy this night at the opera. Outer Plane. Outer Plane is made by the same company as Epic 7. So this game is very similar to Epic 7. Despite being new and has fewer content than Epic 7, the quality of life in this game is very good. Some say it's better than Epic 7. Imagine that. Animation is good and graphics is alright in my opinion. Not stunning to my eyes, but hey, it might be stunning for you guys. And the animation is quite impactful, so I think that's pretty good even though it's not that stunning. So if you wanna play something similar to Epic 7, I think this is for you. I can't wait! <laughs> Stop running! I'll step up. Brown Dust 2. Not gonna lie, I forgot about this game until I saw my own video. If so, if you like stunning pixelated graphics RPG, then this is for you. Just take a look at this game. I know it's not that pixelated, but come on, it's like chibi-ish, 2D, 2.5D if you want to call it that. And it is very similar, not the same though, not the same, just similar to Octopath Traveler with the flashy 2D pixelated art style, you know, animation too. Not, sorry, not pixelated, but you know, you, you get what I mean, right? Like 2D with flashy animation here and there and flashy effects. So this game is quite good, plays really well. And to my surprise, this game is very story driven too. So if you like a very story driven gacha RPG and a chibi one at that, then try this game out. You will not regret it. It is worth your time. I know nobody's talking about this game, but it is really popular. Higan Uridel. Well, for me, I think this game is quite niche. It is pretty unique though with the kind of like a real-time action RPG. And with the mana system again, well, it's like King's Raid. What I love about this game is the cutscenes. The cutscenes is just phenomenally funny. Dude, just fucking play Higan Yurdel, man. You will not regret it. I know sometimes it is quite bad. People are complaining about this and that. But come on, just try it. If you enjoy it, then play the game. I myself enjoy this game a lot because of its beautiful animation, beautiful art style, good OSTs. And I like the design of the character in this game. And not to mention, this game is very much still alive. So if you wanna play Higan Uridel, I can guarantee that you will have a good time playing this game. And if you don't, then just go play something else. Uh, Yuffie, that move was amazing! Your ability is amazing, Director! It's true. Master, you have earned your right to this power. Now, hold out your hand and break the seal! Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. It has been very overwhelming, honestly, for me because you all been, you know, commenting on my videos, giving me tips on how to do better and do this, do that. Just being a good fellow. So that's the Gacha Games release in 2023. And if I do miss something, please, again, let me know. I will probably make another video about this one like in maybe december or something because sometimes gacha game will just pop out out of nowhere and then and they say it will be released in 2023 it's like a sudden surprise it's like a good surprise so this will be the closing ceremony as always thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like it please give this video a like so you know it will help me with the youtube algorithm shit like that 
thank you guys so much for watching this one and i will see you guys again in the next one bye guys Peace.